Where's it at, Dusty? Right. Hold on, Brooksy. Laying there on that log. Oh, yeah. What? Oh, hey. Oh, it's moving. Knew something was up. And they're all over there. Hey guys, Dusty Baker Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to our channel. I got the family with wife Marissa and little daughter Brooks. All right, guys. Hey, so what we're doing now, Mr. Dunbar. Dunbar is out here hanging out right here with some ladies, including Eleanor. Eleanor is out here as well. They're happy, happy animals. But we've had them in here for, I guess, maybe two weeks now, something like that. Um, Maybe a little longer, yeah. So this pasture, this is pasture one, the barn is up here. That front half of the pasture, I don't know, probably eight acres maybe, we planted a cover crop, which was rye and wheat and threw some other stuff out there that Kevin um, had for us. And then uh, this patch, I, I ran out of seed and I was just trying something new because we're trying the cover crop thing. Oh, I just saw a monarch butterfly. Let me flip this around so you guys can see this. It's a monarch butterfly. Yeah, I mean, there it is right here, flying around me. Yeah, you can really tell the monarchs, uh, they're up, landed right here. It's hitting a certain plant. I don't know what plant that is. I'll identify it and let you know um, here at some point in the video what that plant is. But I know that plant does, it looks like it blooms at some point, but that is a native plant. Looks like a forb, could be wrong. But the benefits of cover crops and, and rotational grazing is, now, I will say that we've had a lot of rain this spring, and we're working our way into early summer here pretty soon. But And what has helped with ground cover is the seeds we laid down. Now, a lot of the warm season grasses are about to start uh, getting after it. A lot of what's left is the spring grasses, uh, spring forbs, spring plants. But we planted a cover crop, and it's been so beneficial because the bison have something to graze on um you know even though the spring stuff is coming up bison are kind of picky on what they're grazing but what that means is pasture two right over here just south of our barn uh we planted a cover crop back in september now it was a little slow over the winter time because uh the soil temperature and, and the weather and whatnot but man it has done really well really well matter of fact the last group of bison on this pasture was the big joe herd and we actually caught them up in our pen for our roundup we worked them and then we let them go back out into the burn unit which is where we just left checking red dogs so um now that they've been in this paddock it needs time it needs some rest a lot of those warm season grasses are coming up now because it's hot and humid today this place is rested for, golly, whenever we worked them. When did we work them? April 12th. April 12th was the last when we worked them, I believe. So there hadn't been any animals since April 11th on this. So almost, you know, well over a month for sure um, is rested. So that is a good thing. Now we're going to see if we can get Dunbar's attention. He's being pretty lazy right now. He's like, well, I got plenty of feed here, but... Well, apparently Dunbar's not ready to move. Um, we'll go do a little family herd check and go see the Big Joe herd and we'll come back and see if Dunbar is ready to move pastures. Yeah, so all these right here do not have any fresh red dogs. This group back has red dogs. Now they're still moving with the herd, but you can see this group versus that group. I wonder who's way in the back there, Dusty, the Canadian. Yeah, I see one way back there laying all by herself. She must be one that's getting close. Uh, that, that Canadian, the second one back to the left looks new, Dusty. Where? What's her number? I know, we need to go up there and... 114, and then what's the one behind her? That has a new... Love balls. Hey, Belle. Hey, Belle. Her calf looks good. Mm -hmm. That calf. So she had a heifer... Uh, Quapa, is it a bull, Dusty? I think Quapa's looks like a bull. 54, the jumper. Mm -hmm. The hat for cat. And Peter Cools. It's four, 
babies, Brooksy. Thank look you. At, look at little Phoenix there next to you. No, she's cute. Can we count that one? but she's also a new mom. So she's making a sound of noises. Mommy, where's the cat? Right there by mm -hmm. her? Yep, not hers. Let's go check these other ones. Peaches is doing good. Christy's is over here. South Dakota mama. <laughs> Stretching. <laughs> All right. I think that's 15 now. Uh-huh. Well, if you just counted 14, then yeah. I did, yeah. It should be 15. So she's way over here. Knew something was up. And they're all over there. She's being a good mom. Oh, there's Big Joe. He just came out of the woods. Big Isn't Joe. Where just at? Kinda. It's so weird that they roam by themselves. I'm super shaky. Sorry. Yeah, there he is. And there she no, I is. Saw, I Where's it at, Dusty? Oh, right here. Oh. Two of them, Marissa. Hold on, Brooksy. We're in there on that log. Oh, yeah. What kind of snake is that? The other one was much bigger. I think it's just a water snake. I think the other one is like right in behind it. Not a huge fan of the snakes. I know they have their purpose, but just not some... when your daughter's around them. No, just something about them. Hmm. So there's another one somewhere in that brush pile. Yeah, the one that I saw was huge. Big old fat one. He's been down here living off of baby fish. For sure. Mm. Hey, there's that there's that spool of wire, Dusty. Where? I see it. 
see the handle. See it? When we were mending fence, Marissa may or may not have accidentally lost the Whoa. spool of patch wire down into the water and uh, was unable to recover it. But that's what that looks like to me. I could be wrong. Let's see what it is. It's really in there, isn't it? Looks like a spool. Oh, hey. What yeah, do we I'm got? I'm afraid if I step in there, though, I'm going in. Well, that's what happened to me that one time. Yep. Hold on, babe. Oh, there you go. The lost spool has been found. Some good barbell, haven't you? <laughs> Not much, but... Well, but still, at least it's not in the creek. Yep. Sheffield. It's the, good, it's the good stuff. Yep. Right. Bullet, what are you doing? They're all clean. Don't be getting muddy. Damn bullet. Don't be getting all muddy. Okay. Minus the tire and all the debris. It is pretty down in here. And minus the... coming try number two here hey big boy Lots of happy bison out here. We're going to keep these guys here for about a week and then we'll rotate them again. Thank you guys for watching us today. Doing a little family herd check and rotating Dunbar around. We'll see you guys soon. Keep on bison ranching.